So our next guest is the recipient of the Caribbean Regional Award in the 2020 Commonwealth Short Story um, Competition. He won the prize for that category. Um, he's found a way to start uh, sharing our stories digitally. We've got Brian Heap uh, here with us. Hearty welcome to you, sir. Good to talk to you. <laughs> Morning. Uh, How are you doing, Simone? I'm very well. I have I have just had images of the University Dramatic Arts Society and um, and taking direction from you. This time, right. I'm the one leading the discussion, <laughs> sir. It's good, good. To, good to have you um, in the chair. What's what's happening in theatre right now? COVID has really dealt a blow. Um, yeah. How are we doing here in Jamaica? Um, it's it's very difficult because um, and and quite honestly, I don't think it's ever going to be the same. It's going to take quite a while to build back um, theatre. So um, what I've been doing recently is um, we, um, with the prize money from um, the Commonwealth Short Story Prize. I took some of it and organized a competition for students on the Mona campus um, for, uh, well, writing short plays and short stories. And then we took the winners and the high commendations and we got money from Chase and uh, we've actually created a set of podcasts. So we've, uh, we've now, if you go on YouTube, you can find the Brian Heap Creative writing podcast series and we now have 10 um, stories and uh, short plays two more to come and uh, and the response has been fantastic i'm curious as to okay so so it's just readings or it's it's video podcasts no it's not video it's just reading i mean one of the interesting things a uh, comment last week from somebody was i never knew listening to a play could be so exciting wow and and i think we've forgotten you know there's there's very little if any radio drama anymore correct and and of course you know traffic used to stop when wrong move came on or, you know you, no, or one of those things and we've stopped doing it and i don't know why so so he, this is a you said theater as we as we know it um will never be the same and it will take a long time to build it back i'm curious yeah. if you think we'll ever get back to that stage or if covid has presented a complete paradigm shift that will give a rebirth mm. to Mm -hmm. Wrong move. Radio dramas will come back, and and there yes, will be a space hopefully. for yeah, yeah. Hopefully, radio drama will come back. Hopefully, I mean, people want live theatre. They 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 crave it, um, and it's just that it's 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 difficult. I mean, um, what we found with the podcast is it's so much more cost effective, because I had plans last year for a twenty twenty. Um, festival, theatre festival, which was going to be 20, 20 minute plays by 20 different directors. And that would have cost millions of dollars to put on, you know, because you've got so many things to think about, the theatre, rental, the, the advertising, promotion, printing programmes, tickets, paying the actors, you know, and all the rest of it. Uh, technicians, um, you know, um, props, design, scenery, and all the rest of it, and it all costs money. Yeah. So I found that I could do the podcast for probably somewhere in the region of two hundred thousand Jamaican dollars per episode, and the festival would have cost me in excess of probably eight million. Wow. And you know, of course, we we we're, we're under great pressure to try and raise the money. Um, but thanks to Chase, they were they were willing to come in and support the podcast. So it's um, you know it's been a win win situation for everybody. And I think it speaks to the power of drama and theatre and good writing when folks can listen to a podcast, and it can still come alive in their heads. It speaks to yes, our Jamaican yeah. talent, right? The, the strength of the writing and the strength well, of the delivery. These are, these are all young young new writers who probably would not have you know, entered a, a competition or anything, you know, but because it was focused on campus. Interestingly, the two winners, the, the winning play and the winning um, short story were both done by students in the Faculty of Medical Sciences. What? 
So, you know, it's not just people in the humanities. We have kids in social sciences and, you know, coming, coming through and writing about the most amazing things. I mean, the winning play is a taxi ride from downtown <laughs> downtown Kingston to the university. Yeah, man, um, I can see that clear. Yeah, there, that is an experience. Stories. Yeah, there were, I mean, there were stories about the Second World War, Jamaicans in the Second World War. There was a, a, a fantastic story about the Coral Gardens Massacre, mm -hmm. um, you know, the persecution of Rastafarians in 1963. Mm -hmm. So these these young people are writing about the most amazing things, you know, I'm and it's... Um, it's just just a, a revelation to everybody. I'm so happy you're fostering the talent as always and giving them a platform. Um, I want to talk before we go, because they're giving me the wrap a little bit about what's happening with you. Congratulations on this award, by the way. Um, it's a big deal. Did you expect that you were going to come out on top? No, no. I mean, that was last year. Roland Watson Grant has won it again this year. Yes. So, well, so we're... we're we're on a roll at the moment. That's it's fantastic. Great. Oh, that's congratulations to Roland. But what did it mean for you to be last year's winner? Oh, it was it was a game changer because uh, you know, as I say, you know, having um, I mean, you, you spend years in theatre, you get awards, but nobody ever gives you any money. <laughs> <laughs> So the nice thing about literary prizes is you get cash, you know. So how much um, did you that, win? Can you tell us? I got two thousand five hundred pounds. Wow! Yeah. And you still so took I was half able to of that. Take, and so that was the seed money for the podcast That's series. That's fantastic, you know. Sahib. Excellent. So it was, it, you know, it's great. Excellent. All right, tell us again where we can find the podcast. Uh, on YouTube, you can go on YouTube. Just put in uh, Brian Heap Creative Writing Podcast Series, and uh, they will come up. There are ten. Um, they're, they're on the Philip Sherlock Center um, uh, page on okay. YouTube, and they're also on the UWI page. So you can pick um, whichever, you know, whichever, and make sure that you, you know, you you like yes. the thing and um, <laughs> you know subscribe. subscribe. They say <laughs> subscribe. I'm learning all these new new techniques. <laughs> or if you if you listen to Alain's mommy, it's prescribe. But it's really yes, subscribe. Yes. So he's so good to talk to you. Thank you for checking in with us this morning. Appreciate it. Oh, it's wonderful. Great Excellent. to see you. Congratulations on the work you continue uh, to do to keep theatre going, even in tough, Thanks tough, tough, tough times. And Winner. tune in, listen to them. They're yes, great. Yes, yes, we sure will. Uh, winner of the 2020 Commonwealth Short Story Prize, uh, Brian Heap. He's so much more than that, so we need to bring him back uh, for another personality interview because award up on top of award and what he's done for Jamaican theatre, top class. All right, folks, we're going to take a break. And when we come back, I don't know, never will be back doing something, I'm sure. Where is he anyway? <laughs>